Hey y'all, out here at uh, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and he's got a, a 54 Chevy four-door station wagon street ride. Pretty cool car. You don't see very many of them. So um, it's a one that he's done the interior in a few years ago, and it's just in getting a few tweaks done to it. So anyways, let me run Steve down. I'll have him tell us a little bit about it. Steve, how are you, brother? Doing good, Scotty. How you doing? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about this hot rod. Well, we got a little 54 four-door wagon. Pretty cool looking old hot rod. You don't see too many of them running around. Belongs to uh, Charlie Gray here local. And uh, actually done a car a few years ago. It looks just like it did when he, when he brought it over here before. Oh, yeah. But um, he put a TV and stuff in it, so we, you know, sort of updating it and put a little bit of modern stuff to it. Oh, yeah, no, cool. I like how you put those lights in the roof back yeah, there, I'll turn too. It on for you there. Yeah. Put all the switch and stuff in the console. Oh, that's nice. So you got, you got switches back here, lights. Yeah. No, that's cool, man. This is, you know what I like about these? One, they don't do a lot of them. But the other thing is, you can take your whole crew with you. Yeah, you can take everybody with and you. And everybody's thing. comfortable, you know, and. Yeah, no, that's the cool thing about that. And I see you use that, like, uh, brushed vinyl yeah, on this, a, too. Yeah, it gives that brushed aluminum look. His paint, it's try to match, match the paint scheme that's on the outside. Yeah, no. I think so, you did a good job. You know, when it's all opened up, you know, it all blends real good. It's got the same color inside and outside. Right. Uh, no, I agree. An updated, updated look. More modern, you know, looking interior and everything. Right. I like how you put the vents in the uh, console, too. Everybody rides in the back, so you yeah. see it sort of gets uh, left out on the air conditioner. Right. So, yeah, that was pretty pretty neat of him to put that in there. If you ride in the back seat, you can get some air flowing. Yeah, well, that's cool, man. And he didn't really... uh. I mean, he did a lot of changes to the inside. Obviously, that's full custom, but on the outside, he kept it kind of stock looking. Right. Know? A street routed it, mm -hmm. darkened the tail lights, got a nice stance to it, some cool wheels. Got a late model stereo, navigation, you know, all DVD player and all that stuff. So He's hooked as up. As far as the inside comforts, you know, you yeah. can get in and ride it anywhere. I needed one of these to chase hot rides in myself. Yeah. Quiz yeah, and I, we could, yeah, Quiz and I could be rolling down the road in one of these. We'd be in style. What motor does it have in it? It's got the small block Chevrolet in there. All clean. Now, like I say, he drove. He, he built this car to drive. Right. No, I've seen the car at shows. I just never caught up with it. Yeah, he said he actually drove it to Nashville back here. Yeah. Uh, what was it, last weekend or something? Right. A couple weekends ago. Got oh, cold nice. air. Yeah. Just a good, dependable. Get in the car. Right. You can go anywhere you want to in it. Yeah, and isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. You know, for all the high dollar custom street rides, you know, sitting four inches off the ground, they look cool. But this one, here's a driver. This car'd be fun to drive, fun oh, to yeah. have, take the family with you. You know, no, that's very cool. Yeah, he said he's not afraid to get in and go anywhere. So. No, I wouldn't think. And of course, torque thrust wheels, you know, they always, that's not the brand, but those style wheels look good on yeah. anything. Man, I like how you did that emergency brake too. That's a good location for that. I like how you covered it, brought the paint in on the inside of the mm -hmm. dash too. No, very nice job. You have stand back of it, it all just blends real right. nice, real nicely together. Yeah, digital dash in it. I love the stance. I love the back fenders too. It's almost like it's a tub, but it's not. Mm -hmm. You know? No, that's a really cool car. Got the bucket seats. You can just lay back and hit the road. Yeah, you know, that's the only thing I would have been tempted to do is to put two bucket seats in the back too, because I think that would have been yeah. cool. You could have had them sitting, you know, by themselves, mm -hmm. and it would have been neat. But right now, it's still functional. You can lay that seat down and, and use it as a pickup like I did back right, in the day. Right, right. <laughs> Or you can, you know, let it down and lay, you put your bed back here and sleep. That's what I'm saying. Quiz and I, we wouldn't even need a hotel room. Yeah. Man, we could just roll this thing wherever we went. Yeah. No, that's cool, lay man. Lay down and go. Yeah. No, that's very cool. I like the car. Like I said, it's unique. They don't see a lot of them done. I like how he took the door handles. I guess at one time he had door handles on the back doors, but he's taking those off. Yeah, the back ones, you can actually open them up from the inside, but the outside, he's got a remote entry you can remote that right no, Actually, I think that's cool I, uh, that was one of the reasons we brought it back to the inside handles it didn't have any on the inside oh it just had remote only right. and that was impossible yeah for that wasn't working so it, it's not bad to have remote for the outside but right. on the inside anybody wants in can get out easy wow yeah no, that was good that was that was a nice ad yeah no i think it's a cool car a 54 station wagon four door Mr. Holcomb, as always, I appreciate you letting me come out here. Thanks, Scotty. No appreciate problem. Appreciate you coming. Yeah. Out. Folks, there you go. 54 uh, 
Chevy Wagon Street Ride from uh, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Materials. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.